About 50 kilometers outside the city center of Chiang Rai in the very north of Thailand, you will find one of the most serene pure places in the world where the people have the biggest hearts. Come join us for a weekend at Rai Run Rum where we reconnect with nature, regain respect for our food but also learn to tie-dye and make honey. We work remotely in the week and on weekends do cool things like this. It takes about an hour to get here and it's a little bit in the middle of nowhere. Jared was a magician finding this place and managing to book it. All the places we stay at are always linked in the description below. We arrived, had lunch and worked while waiting for our room. All the food here is organic, sustainably farmed and they are constantly trying to find innovative ways of making fun food like pizzas and milkshakes with healthy ingredients, local ingredients and more sustainable while tasting delicious. Probably the best peanut butter I'll ever taste. The peanut best? Sauce, peanut butter I've ever tasted. Oh really? Chicken or pork, satay, peanut butter sauce, homemade, organic bread, um, pork, fermented spring rolls. Is it good? I haven't tasted it. This place is 3,000 baht a night, which is 1,500 rand. Oh yeah. $100 a night and that includes hopefully a really cool room, we'll see that Nana, breakfast, dinner and four activities. But it's got some really cool things like purple Japanese yam and butterfly pea bread, pumpkin bread, black rice bread, white like quartz bread. If you've ever wondered what it's like working inside a sauna, you'll brain stops working, it just stops. So we're on our way to our accommodation and our uh, luggage went with a scooter and we're walking there through the tree house. It was so hot now, no. I couldn't think but now it's gonna rain so now it's nice and cooler again. It's got the cutest little tree house. You go over this bridge and then you literally in a tree house, like literally not a fake tree house, like an actual house in the trees. An actual house in the trees. Oh wow, look at this. It'll be so cool at night, like a big bonfire and lights and swings. I hope they put this on one night. So this is a campsite and we're staying in a house because um aircon. This will be amazing. I really hope they put that on one night. This is so cool. It's like these little things inside the... What is this place even? So we just got into our place and it is super cute. It also is in a rainstorm right now, so we just moved in time. It's got a cute little working space there. You can watch the view. It's quite a nice rainy view right now. Got some chairs, bed, cute bathroom. Jared told me about this. He saw it inside. It's cereal, chewable tablets. So it's like tablets that you chew. That's cereal. Dairy-free, vegan-friendly, natural probiotics. So. Organic white mugwort dried herbs. So this is gonna be interesting. So it's an upstairs to the house. work for the rest of the night and then Saturday it was time to enjoy the farm. So with our normal breakfast which is like more traditional like they also gave us some muesli and bread. It looks very nice and their bread is very different and it's all organic so the milk is like almond milk? I don't know. And this is all included in the price. Last night's breakfast Last night's dinner I didn't record but it was very nice and it's also it's part of it. Fried or pickled fish and egg and some sort of soup. Oh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of things going on here. It was all delicious and you get to pick a drink from the menu as well. 
Then it was time for our activities to start. First up, tie-dyeing. <laughs> this is Amy and she is a pro at this. We not so much. Depending on the way that you twist the cloth, it will result in different patterns. Yeah. Tron, I never knew much about tie dye, but it's like tie because you tie the pieces of cloth. It's like an art of tying it and twisting it. I think the coolest thing is that like that color, that gold color, comes from the flower. So that explains the yellow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The tie dye is natural. It's not chemicals. It's all these natural flowers and woods gold, and stuff. Gold and water. They boil these herbs and wood in these gas stoves, or gas pans with water and then it colors the water and then you put your clothing in there and it dies. What color is made from? Is uh, it pink? It's or pink, it's pink. Pink and brown. It's brown. <laughs> so we are making salt egg, so you preserve the egg and then you can no, eat it later <laughs> if you want. It's like duck egg and then you, uh, so you use it in like salad and some I had it and What is your what is your name? Oh. My name is Team. Team. Is my name is Mon. Mon. They also have internships with various universities across Thailand where the students can do their practicals here, like these two. It was so cool hanging out with them. And yours, what's your name? It's running away. <laughs> my name is it. Uh, my name is Emmy. Emmy, yeah. and you do all the tie dyeing? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All the activities. How long have you worked here? How many years? Happy. Five years. Five years? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome! <laughs> After the cloth has cooked in the natural dyes for a while, we took it out, untied it, and washed it. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, <pretty. laughs> it's bright, eh? Hey? <laughs> it's flipping cool color, hey? We then infused honey and learned about the different herbs of Thailand. But more about this one in the next video when we do it more in detail. A reminder that for every new subscriber to this channel, we feed or donate a meal to a stray animal. You can also visit the link in the description or on the screen and donate more meals for only the price of a takeaway coffee. Thank you so much. And then we made organic cookies with rice flour and using natural herbs and flowers for the different colors instead of artificial coloring. It is insane the vibrant and bold colors that come from using flowers and herbs. So we made our honey, which is cute. Our eggs are downstairs. This has to remain for 10, 15, 30 days. Yeah. So we have to carry it around for 30 days now. Our honey and our eggs last for 15 days. But vegan or like the very organic stuff do taste different to what we used to. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time what, to get like used to it. Rice, no brown rice lattes. Yeah, brown, brown rice. rice <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna make pizza as our new additional activity. I'm trying my cooking. Crispy on the outside, cubey on the inside. Mm. Then it was time for an amazing dinner. And Apple, who owns the farm together with her father, taught us about the food that we are eating tonight and more about the farm. Okay. Oh, it was the things as well that she cuts up for the, the veggies. veggies. We have not made our own food in two months. In Thailand, you don't make food, you just buy food. And I just fried a bit. I also fried a bit. It's so good. We haven't had wine in two months as well. Thailand doesn't, isn't really known for their wine. Having some bright shrimp, it's super nice. This is a fish sausage. What, she, did, she said something else about it as well, didn't she? Uh, quite spicy. Ooh, it's spicy. <laughs> Everything you... in Thai is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like that spice that they have in Thailand, which I don't know what it is, but it's, so it's nice. They gave us so much food. I think we're like halfway through and I'm like, the pork societies are the best. This is pork kebabs. Many societies we've had. Yeah. Such a cool place. Thank you so much. <laughs> good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye bye.
it's so special when you're at these places that's like family or people that's part of it it's not just a big corporation and they really care about what they're doing and there's a story behind it it's so nice we had a great time with apple this place is her brainchild and sometimes you just want to be in the moment and not record stuff so here is a bit about what she told us so her dad bought this land about 40 years ago and they live in bangkok she went for a year and she lived on this farm place with no electricity no water at this central place and then you just grow you learn about farming you learn about food and then urged her dad that they start this developing the land that they have up here in Chiang Rai but it's also about connecting with nature knowing where your food comes from educating children and she connects with the local um, minority tribes in Thailand like the Karen tribe and um, the people with the long necks and she connects with them for their honey and then they sell their tribe's honey here because it's all organic and she helps them market it they're trying to build this whole sustainable community here and she said when she came to Chiang Rai she wanted to teach the people about organic farming and nobody was interested and then she opened the place and then she started hiring people or employing people and they have 60 employees they've been going for seven years and the cafe has been open for five years and it's so nice being at a place like this the people are so nice as well but you know in everyday life when you work you while you're working you eat dinner and eating becomes kind of like a job not or not a job but it becomes like a task that you have to do it's like oh where are we gonna get food okay we have to go buy food and you forget like how amazing food is you forget the whole process of where food comes from and the people that put their heart and their soul into creating the raw ingredients and then actually also making that food and producing it. You get to appreciate what the food does to your body and what good food does to your body. Join us for part two of the weekend year. When Apple gives us a tour of the farm, we actually get to see how they farm and the cutest goats you will ever see. Literally one of our favorite weekends ever. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.